Hi everyone, this is Sri Ranjni. I'm working as a, lead, a technical lead in Salt on Technologies, and I'm a certified lab view and test stand architect. I have over uh, seven years of experience in lab view, test stand, and semiconductor. Today I'm presenting about creating UML diagrams using a tool called Plant UML. Uh, yeah. So I this is a language tech tech base um, agnostic tool which i hope will be useful for uh, any developer or architect yeah so i'll go over the agenda for today i'm planning to give an overview of plant uml uh, and explain about the challenges that we might face in creating and maintaining uml diagrams how plant uml helps us with uh, overcoming these challenges and an overview of activity diagram or flowcharts and how to create them in plant uml uh, more like syntax and uh, uh, an overview about sequence diagram and creating those using plant uml yeah. so i'll go ahead so plant uml is uh, actually a tool which helps uh, which allows us to uh, allows us to define simple text instructions and convert that into different types of diagram like activity diagram sequence diagram we have like a lot more class diagrams use case diagrams and, and uh, even like we can view json as a di diagram it is an open source uh, open source tool it has online and offline editors where we'll enter the text instruction and uh, it will uh, the plant uml will process that and show the diagram we can uh, save both the instructions and as text file and the diagram in png svg and different uh, type of uh, image formats and it also provides uh, extension for many text editors and ids which we'll use commonly like uh, visual studio code atom so this is an overview about plant uml i'll uh, go ahead and explain what are the challenges that we might face and i have faced when creating and maintaining different uml diagrams the primary issue that i have faced is versioning so these diagrams are usually uh, binary files which we cannot put it in so, uh, or not like uh, put it in source code but compare with source code control uh, if there is a change we might not be able to easily identify the change and uh, like revert it if required next uh, issue is formatting uh, aligning and uh, uh, adding colors themes and uh, if there is any change that we want to insert uh, in the flow chart or the sequence diagram it will be a time consuming job to do that and rearrange all the existing things so these are few uh, challenges that i have faced in when maintaining these diagrams uh, plant UML actually uh, uh, provides solution for all these challenges. In uh, Plant UML, we will actually provide text-based instructions which will be converted into images. These text-based uh, te text instructions can be saved as simple text file and we can put this in source code control and when there is a change, uh, we can uh, uh, identify those change like any other source code uh, in using the source code control. Uh, I have shown an example here where I have made some edit and I'm able to identify what has changed. And uh, uh, next is like formatting. Here, uh, different uh, if there uh, the formatting is taken care by the plant UML, we need not uh, do any aligning. It is automatically taken care. Uh, we, if we wanted to say insert an object in the flowchart, we can do that easily by adding a line in the uh, source file that. Uh, which the text-based source file we have we can add colors and themes by uh, using few lines of code few lines of uh, the instruction or code and also there are like lot of themes available uh, by uh, given by the plant uml itself which we can use in our uh, diagrams yeah so next i'll uh, like go over a few examples uh, the examples i have taken are activity diagram and sequence diagrams uh, activity diagrams or flow charts which helps us to um, ex uh, like uh, define a logical flow of our system and uh, it, it 
it um, uh, it explains the uh, flow from one activity to another so we see i put an example here which i have uh, created for one of our sample cld question i have taken a part of it and created a flow chart with the plant uml and i have also added some colors and themes um, so i'll uh, show a simple uh, a simple example here uh, so this is the syntax for creating a flow chart here uh, uh, like all the alignment is taken care by uh, plant uml and we have to just mention like what are the texts and what are the um, conditions that we have to uh, put in the diagram so uh, if i wanted to insert any message box or a process box i have the, the syntax is I have to put a colon and I have to add the message and end it with a semicolon. This will create a message box with the text um, added. And if I want to start bubble or stop bubble, I have to just add the keyword start and stop. Then we can put an, uh, a decision tree using this syntax where we'll mention what is the um, uh, de what should be present in the decision box and what is the text that needs to be present in each of the arrow mark by uh, saying like if this is the condition then uh, this this is the text that needs to be present in the arrow mark and uh, this is the uh, next message that needs to be shown yeah so these are uh, this are like basic uh, uh, syntax we can basic instruction we can even add loops and uh, complex decisions and uh, go to statements which are uh, present in the plant uml website yeah uh, next is sequence diagram sequence diagram is uh, actually an interaction between different modules that will be available in our uh, um, uh, in our system uh, example if we take atm machine we'll uh, have a user who will interact with the app and the app will actually interact with the file system or the database that uh, to get the account details so a uh, user uh, app and the uh, database or the different modules here and uh, we'll uh, like one module will interact with the other the sequence diagram also shows the sequence in which the interaction takes place like what will happen first then what will happen and also it also shows when a particular module will be active this is also called as event diagrams or event scenarios yeah so creating sequence diagram with plant uml is also simple here uh, we have to uh, def uh, first step is to define the different modules that uh, are going to be present in our system here yeah, in this example we have a user app and a database there are different keywords which will uh, ha actually ha add a different representation for the modules using actor will add a stick figure like this and uh, a participant and uh, database will add figures like whatever is shown here and if we wanted to indic uh, wanted to add a uh, message between two module we have to uh, like just define those modules and put an arrow mark between those and we can say what is the message so example user to app i'm uh, sending a message called um, card inserted so uh, that will create this first uh, uh, first message and this plus plus and minus minus defines what is the active um, active duration of that particular module since um, yeah uh, user is an uh, external uh, external uh, to our system that doesn't have the activation but we see app and database we can add activations yeah. And there are also uh, syntaxes for adding loop and adding if else kind of statement here. It is actually called alt and else. So if the uh, we are verifying an account number here and if the account number is valid, what should happen is put here. And if it is invalid, what should happen is put here. And uh, yeah, there are also other uh, other form, other modules supported by uh, Sub, uh, needed for sequence diagram available in plant uml i've taken a simple example here i uh, have created uh, these two using plant uml these two diagrams using plant uml and with the few lines uh, we can add themes like whatever i've shown here this is a theme available given by plant uml itself we can add header title and footer yeah. uh, so uh, that uh, that's all about my presentation. Uh, thank you. Please uh, feel free to add the questions.
in the chat i'll answer those 